Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another flip through of my daily creative journal. So this is the journal that I made out of an altered composition book and I increased the spine mm, one and three quarter inch I think and then uh, sewed in two signatures and this book is for July and August. So today I'm going to go through some of July with you. And I will leave the link below on how I made these books. I have an entire playlist for you if you're interested. So let's just get going. Okay, so here's the inside. This is my pocket that I put stuff in, but now that I've finished my journaling, I don't need the pocket anymore. Okay, so let's just get started. Boy, oh boy. This past summer was, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Fred, was a summer of hospital visits. So when I left off last time at the end of June, my beautiful son had been uh, diagnosed with testicular cancer. So we are continuing on with his journey. And then on top of that, my husband had his own hospital journey. Yes. So <laughs> let's just get into it. Um, so on this day here, Monday the 1st, and these right here are uh, Brooks from Recreations by Brooke her uh, calendar stickers okay so I'll leave the link below for that as well and so on this day here I received this was on a Monday the 1st of July and uh, I had received a happy mail from my sweet Facebook friend Barbara and it was very nice and it certainly did bright my brighten my day because on this day hope that's not glary we were in the ER with my husband. Yes, his pain level was above 10. It was craziness. So when they finally did all the blood work and scans and whatever, they decided to admit him. Um, Yeah, our day began at 6.30 in the morning. And when he got tested, his blood work, uh, his pancreatic enzymes were up to 4,200, okay? They're supposed to be like around 300, so yeah. So he got um, he got admitted for chronic, or not chronic, uh, acute pancreatitis. His third bout with it, so yeah, he was absolutely miserable. This is a beautiful tag that my dear friend Barbara made for me. So I used it in here. It's actually a two, no, it's not. Okay, I thought there was another pocket there, but it's not. So, and a beautiful tag, so I use them here. Um, oh yeah, and then the whole time we were at the hospital, my dear friend from the Facebook group, my dear friend Lynn, my sweet sister, she was, um, we were texting back and forth and she was just such a comfort to me, so I appreciate that. Um, and then let's see here. So while we were in the ER, oh my goodness, yeah, what a day this was. Let me just tell you, okay? <laughs> Excuse me again. Oh my goodness, yeah. Like my daughter was off work that day um, or had taken off work, something rather. I can't remember. And um, so she had already scheduled her car to go in to the shop for like her maintenance or whatever the case was. So... Here I am at the hospital in the ER with my husband. He's writhing in pain in the back. And so I had to leave him there, go get my daughter, bring her and her car into town. And then she had to go drop me off back off at the hospital so I could be with um, my husband. And then she had to go back home and collect her brother, our son, because he was starting to uh, require blood work each week for um, the cancer, for the tumor markers. And so it was, oh my gosh. I mean, everybody was everywhere and it, it was it was crazy, 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 crazy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah. So when I got home, it was so sweet um, that evening. I do believe, no. Okay, so my daughter had dropped me back off at the hospital, with left, which left me there with no vehicle, which was fine because the kids then came back after my husband had been admitted to a room. And so they came back and visited. We all visited with daddy. And um, yeah, and so when I got back home, my kids were so sweet. Like while I was gone, they got me a card, um, just a beautiful, beautiful card. And they also brought um, home some flowers for me, which was so sweet. I mean, they know that their dad 
always um, brings home fresh flowers for me. And of course he couldn't because he was in the hospital. So yeah, oh gosh, yeah, it was a nightmare. <laughs> but we got through it, we got through it just like we always do. So here you guys have seen this before, my hour. I always say my, but they're not my gems, they're our gems. And so on this day, this was a Tuesday, so exactly a week and a day after my son had his surgery, what does he decide to do? He decides to hop a plane and go to Chicago to meet up with some friends. <laughs> so yay him, right? Um, yeah, so this is uh, my kids, our kids, at a restaurant called The Field, and it's an Irish pub. It's so super cute. My daughter and her boyfriend had been there, and it's right close to the to the airport. And so, what well, we ended up, this was a really long day because my son, we had to go up to see his uh, urologist, the, the surgeon, who performed his surgery the week before, the week and a day before, and check his incision and all that. He ended up having a hematoma, which ended up not being a big deal, but they were keeping an eye on it. And then I do believe we had our first meeting with my son's oncologist. So I do believe it was the first time we were meeting him. And yeah, so my daughter thankfully drove us up there because I was a nervous wreck, you know. My husband's in the hospital, so he wasn't able to be there with us. And I know my husband felt terrible about that, but what can you do? And so we all drove up there and uh, met with the oncologist for the first time. And we actually conferenced my husband in uh, to the, you know, the meeting, right? I, we just, we called him on the phone and so that my husband was able to, you know, converse with the doctor during the appointment. And so, yes. Okay. Yeah. And then right after the appointment is when, uh, my kids and I went to lunch together, had a very nice time together um, before dropping him off at the airport to fly out. There is my beautiful son and me. And, uh, yeah, it was his first flight. I believe it was his first flight alone. I mean, he's 21, you know, first flight alone. And, um, he was going up to meet his gaming buddies for the first time and going to Chicago. He's never been to Chicago before. So a lot of firsts and a week and a day after his surgery. So, Anyway, yeah, he this talks about that and his flight plan and all that kind of stuff. And um, he got there safely, which I was glad about, and all of that. But, yeah, poor Big Handsome. Oh, my goodness. And then when we saw the oncologist at this time, we still weren't, um, we didn't know whether he would, whether our son would have to have chemotherapy or not. And so... Um, let me think he was gonna, I was gonna have to schedule him for a CAT scan for his lymph nodes to see if anything had metastasized. And, uh, yeah, we were praying that it was all clear. And the doctor explained to us that with testicular cancer, it is 99 point something percent curative. However, that does not mean 100% and to like never let our guard down, always make sure he gets the blood work and scans that he needs and all of that kind of stuff. And then he briefly went over the chemotherapy treatment for this particular type of cancer. And he said that it is like super, super aggressive. And his words were, there will be times when you think you won't make it, but you will. So, that was scary, um, but you know, my son took it in stride and you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I know it's cliche, but that's just the way that we were thinking of it and you know, praying that it wouldn't be the case. And so anyway, I love this picture of our gems. Have, my son's having his Irish Guinness and my daughter's having an Irish coffee and yeah, we had a great time together. So then, meanwhile, back at home, hubby's still in the hospital. This was Wednesday the 3rd. And um, let's see. Yeah, third day in the hospital. So we didn't even, like the day before, we were so busy this day, we didn't even get to go visit our my husband in the hospital. Yeah, so day three in the hospital. Um, and, okay, this was around the time as well that... 
I had received my, um, I don't know if I had received my Arteza supplies or not, but Arteza had contacted me to do a collaboration with them and become a part of their affiliate program. And so it was like a lot of online tech savvy stuff that I'm not about. So it was like, I was having a really hard time figuring all that out. So yeah. So I was trying to figure out the business end of the Arteza thing. And then I was scheduling appointments and Sunshine was having fun with his friends, which is good. Big Handsome still at the hospital and they were going to try to put him on clear liquids. Yeah. And then, oh, and then my daughter left this day to go down to the Keys with her boyfriend. So she was going to go for the holiday weekend um, with her boyfriend. So there was that. And we did go, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we went back to the hospital. Um, yeah, I went back to go visit Big Handsome. And then this day here was July 4th. And oh my gosh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. So what you see here is like the menu, you know, that the like, I don't know what you call them, the, the nutritionist or whatever they're called comes in, right? And so my husband, if, if any of you know anything about pancreatitis, it totally stinks. It is like the worst pain I understand from my husband. It is like the worst pain he has ever felt in his entire life and would not wish it on his worst enemy. Now, when you have pancreatitis, you have to stop all ingestion, like of everything, no food, no water, no nothing for like usually a minimum of four days. And um, <clears throat> so this was like the fourth day he was in the hospital. So right here it says soft, okay? This is what he ended up getting for lunch. Chicken noodle soup, barbecued chicken, Okay, I don't know that barbecue chicken is soft. Mashed potatoes with gravy. It's also supposed to be a bland diet. Not sure that that's the case. Mixed vegetables, baked beans. And he got, he did get some kind of um, dessert. And yeah, so I'm like, seriously, does this look like a menu for acute pancreatitis patient? I think not. I mean, it was insane. So I kind of went postal on um, the GIPA. Yeah. Yeah, he and and that morning he had gotten for breakfast, right? He is suffering from pancreatitis, which means you can't eat, you know, like you can't digest things. You need to let your pancreas rest or whatever. So what do they serve him? He's again, he's supposed to be on a soft, bland diet. What do they serve him? They serve him an egg and cheese omelet, French toast, sausage, home fries and more for breakfast. Like seriously, okay? So I was just like, please just listen to me. And then I love these snarky comments from Tim Holtz. I just love them. I think they're flipping hilarious. She was tempted to cause a scene. That would be me. Well, that's a level 11 confident I've seen before. Yeah, I mean, it was just insane. And then um, I was also contacted by another company, In Love Art Shop, um, and they had actually asked if I wanted to try dyes and stamps and I informed them that I don't have a dye machine. So, uh, I wasn't interested in that, but I did look on their website and they had diamond paintings, which I had never tried before and wanted to. So I asked them if instead of working with the dyes, I could then work with the, um, diamond paintings. And I actually have finished this one, haven't started on this one. And here we are in November. Um, as I'm filming this. So yes, they said yes. I picked my two paintings and I was awaiting their arrival. I was so excited. I am quite picky about who I collaborate with as far as companies or if you want to call them sponsors or whatever. Um, because I don't just do it just to do it to get like free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I have, I have actually turned down companies in the past uh, when they've offered or wanted me to do a collaboration with them. But if their product isn't something that I will use, then I say no. If it is something I'm interested in, obviously, and haven't tried before, then yes. Okay, so there's just a little explanation on that. Um, and then this is when I think I started doing my doilies. And I was using Aunt Lydia's Fashion 3 crochet thread. And this is a picture, a photocopy of my very first doily I made. I still have this one. I, I usually I make them and give them away, but I didn't. I saved this one. 
I think I have I saved three of them so far. But anyway, this is a photocopy of a Joy Lee, a vintage a, blah, 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 a vintage Joy Lee magazine that belonged to my husband's great aunt. And look at that, 10 cents for the magazine. Oh my goodness. So Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah, on this day, too, on Friday or Thursday, the 4th of July, we did end up breaking my husband out of the hospital. Finally, um, he was still in a lot of pain, but his numbers had come way down, and he just wanted to get out of there, you know, because obviously they weren't really doing anything to help him. They were doing more things to hurt him instead. So that was not fun. But, yeah, so he, I brought him home this day here. And then, uh, yeah, so lazy, lazy morning, but big handsome wanted to, <laughs> he wanted to go out into town. So I went with him and we ran a few errands and stuff like that. Um, the doily in the, in this book right here is one of many, let me see the do, oh, the doily book. Okay. That's this one right here. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Hello. We get with the program. Yeah. It's one of the many that she got for me at the family reunion auction. And I talk about that later in the book. Um, so there was that. This was just a very simple page with a, a poem in the background. This was a picture, a photocopy of my doily number two. And this is just a very simple tag I made to put in the little pocket. Um, and I had a lazy morning. Still trying to figure out the Artesia affiliate stuff. Yeah, that was just a nightmare. And it what it had nothing to do with them. It was just me. Like I, I don't understand the business end of things and all that kind of stuff, but um I obviously I got through it in the end. So and then my husband and I just we just relaxed most of the day. We watched a really cute chick flick called Wine Country. Um yeah, and then I was working on my second doily here. Now, this day here is the day that we went and picked my son up from his Chicago trip. He was up there for five days, and we went to this Mexican restaurant, Chewy's, on the way home. This is just a paper envelope that I got from there that I turned into a pocket, sewed a bit around it, and stuck it in there. Um, this I found interesting. They have their silverware put in these, you know, sanitized whatever baggy things. But on the back of it, I just found it super interesting that they had prayers, a Protestant prayer, a Catholic prayer, and a Jewish prayer, like a, a food blessing prayer, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, then I was, again, I'm on a doily kick here, so this was doily number three that I made. I was chucking them out left and right. And so this is um, like just a bag, you know, we had some leftovers. So it, I just cut out the Chewy's symbol on the bag and wrote about it. Yeah, so our boy came home today. Um, I'm not sure, did we have to go pick, I guess we had to go pick him up in the morning. Hmm, I can't remember. We must have if we went to Chewy, yeah, we must have gone to pick him up. Um, and he had been up for almost 24 hours cause he had gone to an anime, uh, like convention the day before. And so, yeah, they got home really late. And so he just ended up his, his flight home was at 7am. And so, yeah, he obviously he had to be there at like five in the morning or something to come home. And so he just ended up staying up the rest of the night. Anyway, he was really tired, but lunch was delicious and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So his flight was early. Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah. He just, he just stayed up all night. So anyway, and he was busy when he got home too. He was busy getting all of his paperwork ready for his closing coming up next week. So if I don't know if I said in the last flip through, yeah, my son had finally found a home and um, was working on all the paperwork and closing and all that kind of stuff. Here's a larger photocopy of doily number three, and I think I'll stop on these pages here. So I just did a background of a napkin in the back. This is one of Christy Biddleston's pretty little, um, uh, what's it called, like embellishment piece that she sent me. These are just from a magazine. This is from a yearly calendar. And then I have these little note cards that I put all my notes on. So. Big hands, I'm still in a lot of pain, but he managed to whip up dinner for 
uh, for later in the week that he usually does his cooking on the weekends. So yeah, it just amazes me how he just keeps on going feeling like he does. And then I had a lovely video chat with my Brookie Boo. That's Recreations by Brooke. And yeah, love having video chats with her. She's so much fun. And I chatted with some other friends as well. And uh, so that was nice. And this is when I replied to the In Love Arts Company about the diamond paintings. And then still trying to figure out the RT's aff affiliate stuff. Oh my goodness, yeah. I am just so ignorant of that kind of stuff. But in the end, I got it all worked out. So anyhow, there's my flip through for just, you know, the first, well, the first week or so of July. So thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week. And I'll chat at y'all real soon. Bye.